schedules Wish we had more time to spare Want you around me like air Can't get my feelings in more What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's Zam, you two? It's your girl, the goddess, and I'm back, ooh, with another one, with a, another one, Go yeah. girl. <laughs> Alright, y'all, so, today's video is gonna be something that I'm clearing up, but before I start, we're gonna go, I'm gonna need you to like, comment, subscribe, and share, you hear me? You are more than welcome to think that anything I say on this channel is a bunch of time foolery. You are more than welcome to think that anything I say is crazy or that I am crazy and that I need psychiatric help. You are more than welcome to disagree with anything I say on this channel because why? What you think is valid in your world. Let me repeat that. What you think is valid in your world. So if you think Bigfoot and Sasquatch is real, this is the channel for you. If you think fairies and mermaids exist this is the channel for you if you think aliens exist this is the channel for you if you think the earth is flat baby this is the channel for you okay express yourself think how you want to think because this channel is all about freedom of thought express yourself because that's what I'm doing alright now let's get into the video all right, y'all, so I wanted to clear up something. Um, on my videos about manifestation, I am very much so talking about affirmations and visualizing and believing, you know, having faith and believing that, you know, things are gonna happen the way that they should, the way that you want them to. But I did forget to mention that it does require action. It definitely does require action. So you may attract, you know, those affirmations and, um, you know, and the visual, the visualizations and the belief may attract the opportunity. The opportunity may be presented to you, but you do have to take action towards that opportunity when it is presented to you. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, and those affirmations, and those, uh, and the visualiz the visualizations, and then the gratefulness, and the, and the speaking like you already have it, is to train your subconscious mind, and your subconscious mind is the mecca of all behaviors that you display. So saying those affirmations every day, and visualizing, and believing, you know, having having faith is all just to keep you in that vibration so that you will act and do and work towards whatever it is that you want to attract so like but there are there in my cases in my case my in my life my story the oppor I attracted the opportunity the opportunity was presented to me and I took action on going about you know getting and creating what I want you know manifesting what I want so so for instance when I manifested the ten thousand dollars when I told y'all the story y'all go watch that video if y'all haven't already like comment subscribe and share you hear me <laughs> but anyways um so I had gotten to a situation where I was almost about to be homeless because Y'all just go watch the video. Then something just kept telling me intuitively, call your mama, call your mama, call your mama. So I called my mama. Told her about what happened. She then sent me a link to this program called Texas Rent Relief, which was a program for um, people who were getting laid off during COVID-19 and was not able to pay their rent. You fill out the application and then they will give you the money to pay up to 15 to 12 to 15 months of your rent. So I filled out my application. That was the action. You know, I was presented the opportunity to get it. Filled out my application, which was the action. And then I got approved for the $10,000. That belief, that faith, and that action, and 
those affirmations is what helped me stay in the vibration of knowing and believing that I was going to get it. And then when the opportunity, the opportunity was presented to me, I took it. You know what I'm saying? So that's an that's an example. Another example from when I told y'all about on my video titled "This Ish Really Works." Y'all go like, comment, subscribe, and share. When I told y'all I manifested my apartment, my action was applying for the apartment. I actually applied. Now I did not get approved. And then once I wrote my affirmation down and really believed that I was gonna get it and visualized myself in the apartment, I got a call saying that we'll let you in if you get a co-signer. I called my mother, asked her if she could co-sign for me. And she said yes, and she co-signed. So that so I took action by applying for the apartment. So yes, you do have to, it does require some type of action because the universe has to have something. Universe, God, Source, Spirit, Allah, Jah, Yahweh, all of that. They, it has to have something to work with. You can't just, you got to have something. It has to have something to, um, what's the word I want to use? What's the word I'm looking for? It has to have something to, um. I guess link I'm gonna say link to it has to have something you know what I'm saying you can't just not do nothing and then expect to get it so I do want to clear that up when I manifested you know not having any allergies you know um, curing my allergies clearing my allergies what happened was I was presenting with information about Dr. Sabi and other holistic health doctors and then I applied it to my life by starting a plant-based most majority alkaline diet because it's hard to just eat just with on Dr. Save Nutritional Guide. So, but yeah, and then once I started back eating how I was eating before after not having any allergy issues for you know that period of time, then the allergies, the, the mucus buildup came came back. You know what I mean? But like I say, I know now I know that all I have to do is just go back to eating my al alkaline diet which I am about to start back doing not that I eat terrible now I just started back eating you know little pieces of meat and stuff like that fish and whatnot so anyways said all that to say you know I apologize if I if I was misleading by saying that all I'm doing is visualizing and then it, and it just comes to me. No, it does require some type of action. So let's say if you want to build a platform, your action is you have to create content. You have to post content and create content. And then the rest, you know, you let the higher power do the rest, whatever they may mean to you, whatever you may call that. Um, and then you stay in the energy of believing that it's going to happen, saying your affirmations so that you can stay in that energy of knowing that what you desire will happen, what you want to manifest will manifest. Okay, um, so yeah, so this is, these, I feel like this is good for when you are not in a position where you have connections or support. This could keep you in those affirmations those visualizations and that belief you know will keep you in that vibration to, to know that you know you are you know this can happen this will happen okay so let's say if you want to do music of course you gotta your action would be to record a song right to record a song and put it out so now you got a song that's on multiple platforms for people to view and then you promote it on your platform. That's the action. All right. So I do apologize. I did. I seen something on the internet where you know, bro is like, you know, it, it takes action, and people be like, oh, the love attraction is just gonna come, blah blah. blah. You know, kind of like making fun, poking fun. Um, but yeah, it does require action. Everything that I have ever said on this channel is a true story I'm not trying to seduce the universe 
to that man who said that. Yes, I heard you. Don't do me that. <laughs> but anyways, that's all I have for y'all today. I just wanted to clear that up and y'all have a good one. And remember, don't be a hoe.